This video will guide you to configure, use, and maintain CA Anti-Spam. Spam protection features block and quarantine junk mail. To enable or disable spam protection, open the CA Security Center. To open the CA Security Center, from the Start menu, select All Programs, CA, CA Internet Security Suite, and CA Security Center. Double-click on the CA icon on the taskbar at the bottom right, or right-click the CA icon at the taskbar and select Home. Click on the My Internet panel, then click on Update Settings. Select the Web Protection sub-tab. The settings can be configured from the CA Anti-Spam toolbar. CA Anti-Spam can be configured to work only on Microsoft Outlook and or Outlook Express Windows Mail. You can unclick the email client you don't want CA Anti-Spam to monitor. You can also disable anti-spam by clicking on the cross. For now, we're going to enable the anti-spam. Click on Apply. The settings can be configured from the CA anti-spam toolbar on the email client. Open your email client. For example, we're going to open Microsoft Office Outlook 2007. As you've just installed CA, CA anti-spam configuration wizard will run you through the settings. Enable both the anti-spam protection and email search features on the box above and click Next. You can click Learn More to see online help. Click on Next. You can select CA default groups to be added to the approved senders list. You can also deselect the option if you don't want the group to be added. Click on Next. CA Anti-Spam creates your approved senders list from your address book and inbox emails. Then click Next. In the future, any email that you receive will go into your inbox if the sender is present in the approved senders list. Any email that you receive will go into your CA Anti-Spam folder if the sender is absent in the approved senders list and has a high spam score. Once your approved senders list is built, click on Next. You will build your first search index by clicking on Build Index. For the search to be this efficient, this feature uses an index logic. Hence, this index has to be up to date. Index will then be automatically up to date for new incoming mails. Click on Finish to complete the CA Anti-Spam configuration. Click on the drop-down menu and select Review Quarantine Messages. If you have spam emails, you can review them here. Click on OK. Now click on Approve Senders. Any email sent by an approved sender will directly go to your inbox. When you first open Outlook or Outlook Express with CA Anti-Spam installed, names and email addresses from your address book, inbox, sent items, drafts, outbox folders get automatically added to the approved sender's list. Type the name of the contact and the email address to approve. Click OK to add the email address to the approved sender's list. You can edit the sender information. Select the entry. Click Properties. Modify the information and click OK. You can also remove the sender from the approved list. Select the entry. Click on Delete. Agree to the message and click on Yes. To rebuild the approved senders list or clean up a folder, click on Start. All emails which have a high spam score will be moved to the CA Anti-Spam folder. In order to retain or block mails only based on spam scoring, you will have to delete all email addresses in the approved senders list and block senders list. After the scan is complete, click on OK. You can also specify Outlook folders to scan for approved senders. Click on Folders. You can select all or select none. Click on OK to save the changes. You can also export the approved list by clicking Export button. Define the destination and file name, and the file will be saved as an XML file. Now click on Save. You can also import the approved list from another file source. Open the XML file, then click on Open. Click on Close. Now moving on to the block senders list. A block sender is a person whose email is blacklisted by the user, hence considered a spam by the software. Any email sent by a block sender will go directly to the CA Anti-Spam folder. By default, any email which is not part of the approved senders list will also be directed to the CA Anti-Spam folder. 
Click the New button to manually add a blocked site. Type the name of the contact and the email address to block. Click OK to add the email address to the block senders list. You can also select the email of the sender whom you wish to block and click on the block button on the CA Anti-Spam toolbar like we will show you later on. You can delete the entry by selecting it then clicking on Delete. If you're sure to remove the block sender, click Yes. Then click Close to exit. Click on the CA Anti-Spam drop-down menu again. Click on Scan Current Folder. This is to scan the current folder for spam email. Click Options to configure the CA Anti-Spam. The default settings are always the best. If no options are altered, emails in the CA Anti-Spam folder will be deleted after a period of 30 days. If no options are altered, emails in the CA Anti-Spam folder will be deleted after a period of 30 days. You can change the number of days to save quarantine messages before they will be removed automatically. You can select or deselect to show quarantine messages reminder and to change the period as well. You can ask CA Anti-Spam to verify sender domains. Click the checkbox if you want this feature to be enabled. Click on the Spam Score tab. A Spam Score is a rating that is assigned to a sender's email address. The values range between 1 and 100, 1 being the least Spam Score and 100 being the highest Spam Score. The Spam Scores are calculated internally based on the behavior of the sender's emails. However, you can decide whether to quarantine Spam mails that were identified based on Spam Scoring. Even if an email address is not in your approved senders list, it could be approved and received in your inbox if the spam scoring gave the email address a low spam score. You can disable spam scoring feature if you want all emails to be approved only based on approved senders list. To disable the spam scoring, unclick the option. To change it, type the new spam score threshold. Click on the next tab, Search. You can choose specific folders to be indexed. Click on OK to save the changes, or cancel to amend the alteration. To delete the search index, click on Delete Index. Click on Yes to confirm. As we just deleted the index, we have to rebuild the index to enable the search. Automatically Keep Index Up to Date is selected as default. You can also index the attachments. You can select the option to identify unread email with bold text. To change the maximum number of results to show, specify it on the text box. You can see the index information as well. Go to the next tab, the advanced settings. Here you can enable or disable anti-spam features. You can also change the default language. In case that you have received infected emails, you can select the option to temporarily block an approved sender for some days. Click on the next tab, Rules. Click on the button if you need to change the default monitored folders. Select the folder or click on Select All to select all the folders. Or click on Select None to deselect the options. Click on OK to save the changes. Now click on Apply. Click OK. Click on the CA Anti-Spam menu again. You can access help from CA Anti-Spam menu. In the browser, you can go through the contents, use the index or the search option. Now back to the CA Anti-Spam menu. Click on About CA Anti-Spam to see the associated files. Click on Open Log File to see the history log. Click on OK. Click on Tools, Send Receive to force the Send Receive process.
or you can just click on the Send Receive button. Click the Inbox folder. Select the email. Click the Approve button on the CA Anti-Spam toolbar. This will add the sender's email address to the approved sender's list. Just like adding the sender's detail manually to the approved list like shown before, emails from the sender will go directly to your inbox. If you wish to block the sender, select the email and click on Block. Then the email will be moved automatically to the CA Anti-Spam folder. Clicking on the CA Anti-Spam folder will bring up quarantine spam emails if you did not change the default settings. You can check to the left of the spam mail to change it to good mail and to add the sender to your approved senders list, in which case future emails from this sender will go to your inbox. Then click on OK. You can also click on the Approve button on the CA Anti-Spam toolbar. The approved email will be moved to the Inbox folder. To search an email, type in the keyword in the search box and then press Enter. You can also search other keywords from the CA Anti-Spam search window. After typing in the keyword, click on the search button. For a more advanced search, click on the Advanced button. Click on Clear to clear the selection. And click on Search to search for the email based on the advanced search options. You can also clear the history by clicking on the Clear History button. Again, clicking on Help will open the browser to show this help topic. Close the search window.